Okay, I'm using my flip video to try to make a little movie of how to use clamshell mode. So what you see here is my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. And over here I've got my 23-inch old-fashioned cinema display. I bought that used. It's a good deal. I also have a Bluetooth keyboard here. And I have a Logitech wireless mouse. Um, that does not work with Bluetooth. It works with an adapter that is right now stuck into the back of the monitor. The monitor has uh, USB. A little bit kind of a weird situation, but it works. Okay, so I want to, right now the monitor is off, not plugged into anything. Um, the laptop's obviously on. There's the desktop uh, pattern for it. So what I'm going to do is just start plugging stuff in. So let's take a look over here. I got the power. I'm going to plug the power in. You need to have the power turned on for this, plugged in and turned on because um, it won't work if the power is not in it. Now I've got a cable here with an adapter for my monitor. Um, this is a special adapter I had to buy to uh, connect my older monitor to my Mac laptop. You can get these at the Apple Store. And I'm plugging that in. There it is. And then my monitor also has USB, so I'm going to plug that in. And I don't know if you noticed, it all blinked a second ago. Let's plug that in, and then we'll look at it. Um, my laptop's monitor is still on, but now if you look, because I'm connected, you can see the uh, desktop picture for my external display. And the last thing I'm plugging in, which you don't have to, is sound, because I've got some external speakers I like to use. Um, if I wanted to plug in anything else to the Mac, I could uh, have another USB port here. I have Ethernet. I have... Um, I have, I think that's uh, high-speed uh, USB, or fire, that's FireWire, actually. Um, every Mac's going to be a little bit different. Um, I also have a little slot here for um, an SD card, and that actually does work with it in clamshell mode, which is kind of cool. Okay, so now everything's all plugged in, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close the lid on the laptop. And what that should do is it should put the computer to sleep, and it did. And now I'm going to put it up on the stand, which you don't really have to do. Um, this is what I do, though, just to keep it out of the way. I like having a nice wide open desk. I'm going to move these cables aside. Now the computer is asleep, the monitor's off, and I'm just going to press a key on my keyboard, which has already been paired, and the monitor comes to life. And a few things to notice here. First of all, it has the desktop of this monitor, not the desktop of my laptop. The, the picture is the one that I set up for this monitor. Um, second of all, the dock is here. The dock and the menu bar are now on this screen. And that's really important because if you don't have the dock or menu bar, uh, you're not going to be able to use this screen as your primary monitor. And that's it. My uh, keyboard should work and uh, the mouse already works. I was pointing at some things and that's all there is to it. I'm good to go. Again, this laptop is all closed up, clamshell mode, and I'm using the um, computer as a computer only. It, I mean, it could be any kind of computer, doesn't matter, because the monitor is this external monitor and the keyboard and the mouse. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. That's all.